tutengeneze uwanja au tutengeneze darasa zingine upande wa juu in fact there is a one class which water had gone through the the the, the holes down there so you can see how dangerous it is because the water goes even inside the classes and it is very risky for the children yote ambayo katika sehemu ambapo kuna danger kuna hatari kwamba kunaweza aidha kukatika ama maji yanaweza kufurika ni kuahimiza kwamba ni wakati mzuri wa kuondoka wasingojea mvua kunyesha ndio tena wanaanza kukimbia wakati ule wale wanataka msaada kupitia kwa vipengo mbalimbali vya serikali waweze kuongea na na, na chiefs eh, ambao wataweza kufikisha ujumbe kwa haraka kila mtu ambaye yuko mahali hapa akishia kwamba anatengeneza mitaro uh, ya ku peleka maji katika upande mwingine. Kwa hiyo mali ambapo mainama na kuna cho ama shimo la maji akishia kwamba kuna mtaro ya kuzuia maji hayo yasiingie katika shimo hilo. Kwingineko gavana wa Tarakanithi Mudhomi Njuki amepiga marufuku safari zote za ndani na nje kwa maafisa wa kaunti hiyo na kuagiza kuunda kwa mfuko maalum wa fedha ili kushughulikia mvua inatarajiwa ya El Nino. Kutokana na hayo gavana Njuki ameziagiza idara husika kupunguza posho ya matumizi za chai kila siku na chakula cha mchana kwa maafisa ndani ya kaunti hiyo akiagiza kuwa pesa hizo kupitishwa kwenye kituo cha dharura. Kona toke enderete kwe na ntube na nkinda no basi Thank you Oh doye kwa mwende I want to advise our brothers Mbwa na usika na meno ya pesa Ya el nino Pesa peki yake ya uwezi fanya kazi What we are doing today in Tarakaniti Is the right program Because we are preparing the people Who will deal with el nino Rather than kuketi kwa boardroom tukitarisha vile tutatumia pesa ya nini ya nino ama mgoni tofauti kuna watu wanasema tumetia pesa ya kukoja emergency sasa emergency kukupata na kuona pesa na una mipango ya watu kama hawa utasui hiyo hiyo tabu utatoa na nini can money work by itself during el nino there is no time for procurement as tunaenda kutafuta contractor wakuja kufungua barabara i that's why i'm urging even the national government even our other brothers and sisters in the counties, let us have teams who are ready for emergency. I don't expect ati wakati barabara imefungika on Friday ama Saturday. Inatakikana pawaso, inatakikana misumari. Yule lead wa what? Ana shilingi hata moja kununua misumari. Kwa sababu pesa iko wapi? Iko bank. Ama kiti alichukua petty cash iko kwa draw kwa ofisi yake. We want them to be enabled. Na kama njia moja ya kuafikia malengo ya kupanda miti bilioni 15 kufikia mwaka, mwaka 2032 kama alivyoagiza Rais William Ruto, idara za serikali pamoja na mashirika yameanza kampeni za upanzi wa miti kote nchini. Juma hili shirika la maji la Tarda lilikuwa kaunti ya Nyeri ambapo walipanda miti zaidi ya 2500 na, na kusambaza miche 2020 kwa kazi wa eneo hilo la Nyeri. Wasimamizi wa shirika hilo hata hivyo walisema kuwa wanalenga kupanda miti zaidi ya bilioni moja nukta mbili kwa kipindi cha miaka kumi jayo. Agizo la Rais Ruto lilikuwa kama njia moja ya kukabiliana na athari za mabadiliko ya tabia nchi we in Nyeri county as part of our response to call to action by his excellency the president and the Kenya Kwanza manifesto of uh, reforesting 30% of this country attaining 30% forest cover so today we are launching the Tarda tree growing campaign we are targeting to rather respond to that as a state department we are targeting 5 billion trees of the 15 billion and of that uh, Tarda as a state corporation is mandated to plant 1.2 billion in the next 10 years The purpose of the event today is to demonstrate what we need to do to conserve our environment, our forest, our waters right from the source. Because if we don't do that here now, downstream, there will be no water. Our planting of trees is to continue to do what we ought to do as well as inform those who pollute the the, the 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 air and our environment and causing all the climate change things that you are seeing we are right now thinking about el nino 
Kaunti ya Mandera imezindua kampeni ya siku tano ya chanjo ya polio kwa ushirikiano na shirika la afya ulimwenguni. Kampeni hiyo imeanza leo hadi tarehe moja kwa kuikilenga kaunti kumi zilizoainishwa na hatari kubwa zaidi ya maambukizi ya polio. The polio campaign is essential in reaching vulnerable and hard to to reach populations, particularly in regions like ours, where the risk of polio virus resurgence remains high. It is our moral obligation to ensure that every child, regardless of the geographical location, receives this vaccine. However, the success of this campaign in our county depends on all of, us, all of us. It requires not only the dedication of the healthcare workers on the front line, but also the support of communities and organizations. It is our shared responsibility to ensure that every child receives this vaccine regardless of challenges we may face. Tunahimiza wananchi um, ama wazazi wote wapea, wahakikishe wa hudumu wa kipuja kwa manyumba zao wakubali watoto wapewe chanjo ili wafaidi kutoka manufaa uh, iliyo katika hiyo chanjo. Kama muna vyojua hii ugonjwa imepasuka mahali na hitu wa dadab. Ndo hapo ndo tumejua kama, kama I mean, kushirikiana na serikali. Watoto wa nane walipatikana na hii ugonjwa. Wengine hata hawajaathirika lakini wengine wameathirika. Seneta Wobomet wakili Hillary Sigei amekoa hivi karibuni kukemea ghasia baina ya jamii zilizoishi kwenye mpaka wa Kericho na Kisumu akisema ni tabia ambayo imepitwa na wakati. Akizungumza katika shule ya Kimulot ene bunge la Konoin, Sigei anataka viongozi kutoka kaunti hizo kuongoza mapatano akionya ghasia ikiendelea maendeleo ya tadorora. Senta huyo pia mpendekeza hatua za kisheria kwa wale wanaofadhili mzozo wa kikabila. We are beyond what we are experiencing right now as a democratic state as a united Kenya. Yale yanaendelea kufanyika pale sondu tafadhali Tunaambia watu wetu tumeishi kwa amani wakati tulipiga siasa. Saisi haitoshi tukuje kupigani. Eti ndugu zetu kama ni wakale ama kama ni wale wa kutoka pande ile nyingine haifai wakati huu bado tunaongelea hayo. Na ile hakikisho tunataka kuambia wananchi wetu wa Kenya ya kwamba President William Ruto has said we want to build a united Kenya and that is why he is right now in the region running programs of development. I want to urge the leadership of the two counties, sit down, engage the residents of the two counties, let us live together in harmony, let us build Kenya, let us develop our country in other sectors and forget about the deals and the fights that is ongoing at the moment. Na waziri wa elimu Ezekiel Mashogo amemwandikia kiongozi wa wengi bungeni kuhusu hatua zilizopigwa kwenye utekelezaji wa ripoti ya mageuzi ya elimu jinsi alivyoagiza spika wa bunge la taifa Moses Wetangula. Kwenye barua hiyo Mashogo amepinga hoja zoebuliwa bungeni na mbunge wa Muhaya Omboko Milemba aliisuta serikali kwa tuhuma za kutekeleza ripoti kwa kupuuza ushauri wa bunge. Mashogu amekariri kwamba yote yanaendelea kuhusu ripoti hiyo kwa uzingativu wa sheria. Baada ya kupewa makataa ya majuma mawili kuandaa ripoti akielezea hatua zilizopigwa katika utekelezaji wa ripoti ya mageuzi ya elimu. Hatimaye waziri wa elimu Ezekiel Machogo amemwandikia barua kiongozi wa wengi bungeni Kimani Ichungwa akifafanua kuhusu hatua zote zilizopigwa. Barua yake Machogo ni majibu ya moja kwa moja kwa mbunge wa Muhaya Omboko Melemba na wenzake kwenye bunge la taifa walioibua maswali kuhusu utekelezaji wa ripoti hiyo asaiti 
shimo na alama zinazohitajika kwa naopania kujiunga na vyo vya walimu okay, the recommendations that the minister of education review the grades for pre-service teacher teachers jeopardize the mandate of the teacher service commission as provided under article 237.3 of the constitution hata hivyo kwenye barua yake machogo amemfahamisha kiongozi wa wingi bungeni kwamba kinyume na ilivyo ripoti wa bungeni wizara ya elimu haijabuni vigezo na viwango vyovyote vinavyohitajika kwa watu wanaojiunga na vyo vya kusomea walimu isipokuwa viwango vya usajili wa wanafunzi kwa vyo vya walimu aidha waziri huyo anasema licha ya katiba kuipa tume ya TSC mamlaka ya kutathmini viwango vya mafunzo na elimu ya walimu mbali na kuishauri serikali kuhusu taaluma ya walimu mamlaka ya kubuni vigezo na hitimu za kujiunga na vyo vya walimu ni wajibu wa wizara ya elimu na wala si tume ya TSC Mapendekezo mengine yanayozidi kuibua migawanyiko kuhusu ripoti hiyo ni kubuniwa kwa shule ya jumla yani comprehensive school na ajira kwa wakuu wa dini shuleni The Presidential Working Party on Education Reform has also recommended that the Ministry of Education establishes comprehensive school system where all levels of learning are managed as one institution contrary to part 29 of the fourth schedule of the constitution The working party further recommends that the Ministry of Education recruit staff for special needs education institutions and hard staff areas. This recommendation will be contrary to the constitution. That the presidential working party gives now powers to the teacher service commission to employ chaplains and imams in schools. This is in direct conflict of article 9 of the constitution which separates the state and religion and therefore remove the powers of sponsors in the schools replacing it with teacher service committee ila kwenye barua yake waziri wa elimu amemfahamisha kiongozi wengi bungeni kemani ichungwa kwamba utekelezaji wa pendekezo hilo haujaanza na kwamba ni hadi mswada uandaliwe na kuwasilishwa bungeni ndipo utekelezaji wake utakapoanza Machogwa ameandika barua hiyo huku washika dau elimu wakiendeleza kampeni za kudumisha uhuru wa TSC. Teachers suffered, some people were arrested. And that independence that was created in the 2010 constitution should be guarded. Our position is that the independence of the Teacher Service Commission must remain. That is why we have reached where we are as women, especially as women teachers because our numbers have grown and our teachers women teachers who are in leadership now it is almost 50 50 because of that independence nakala za barua ya kemachogo zimetuma kwa waziri mwandamizi msali wa mudavadi maspika wa mabunge yote mawili moses wetangula na amazon kinge mkuu wa tumishi wa uma felix koske mwana sheria mkuu justin muturi na mwenyekiti wa kamati ya elimu bungeni julius mele miongoni mwa wengine shadrak miti kitchen news na mtazamaji iwapo kuna watu waliopata changamoto kuu wakati wa maandamano ya kitaifa basi ni wale wasiokuwa na uwezo wa kusikia. Haya ni kwa mjibu wa muungano wa kitaifa wa wazazi walio na watoto wasio na uwezo wa kusikia. Muungano huo unasema kuna visa vingi vya watu wasiokuwa na uwezo wa kusikia kusumbuliwa na vyombo vya usalama kutokana na changamoto ya mawasiliano. Muungano huo sasa unataka lugha ya ishara kuhusishwa kwenye mtaala wa masomo kwa manufaa ya wakenya wote. Tobias Chanji na maelezo zaidi wa Def Center unaopatikana kwale mjini kuanzia wapishi hadi wahudumu wote hawana uwezo wa kusikia japo wakati mwingine mkawa huu mdogo huwa umefurika wateja kuna changamoto kuu ya mawasiliano wakati mwingine ishara sisizo zikatumiwa kitambo ile ujue ni pesa ngapi yenye nafaa kulipa ushakula hiyo chakula kwenye maelezo ndio huwa tunapata changamoto sana unapata vitu vingine na kuja baadaye sasa so, unaanza na kuwa ngumu sasa so, unaanza kufai so ile communication kwa itawale wengine na kuwa ni shida katika shule ya wanafunzi wenye ulemavu wa kusikia ya ziwani iliyoko Mombasa wazazi wamejumuika hapa kuelezea masaibu yao akiwa na umri wa miezi tisa babake ndo alimgundua baada ya kuanguka kama ni sahani ama kikombe na kawaida mtoto kitu kikianguka anashtuka kageuka yeye yeah, alikuwa ni mtu ambaye hageuki ndo babake akagundua kama huyu mtoto hasiki ule mavu tuliugundua mtoto huyu alipokuwa na miaka mitatu 
baada ya kushikwa na ugonjwa wa malaria akadungwa sindano za quinin akapoteza kusikia hatukujua tumpeleke wapi lakini kwa muda tukajua tumuingi tukakubali tukajikubali tukamuingiza shule Walimu wanaongezea kwamba ni vigumu sana kwa wanafunzi ambao hawaskii tu bali pia wana itilafu ya kiakili. We have also the mental children because we have some deaf with the mental problem so it's hard for them to communicate because some they don't know the sign language so it's very hard for those who are deaf alone it's easy for them to learn with teachers here in school for the deaf. Jofri Wadigo ambaye ni mwenyekiti wa kitaifa wa muungano wa wazazi walio na watoto wenye ulemavu wa kusikia anasema kwamba japo lugha ishara imo kwenye katiba kama lugha ya tatu baada ya Kiingereza na Kiswahili bado haitiliwi manani. Analama kuwa watoto wengi wenye ulemavu wa kutosikia walipitia changamoto kubwa wakati wa maandamano. Watoto wetu wanakibia kwa polisi lakini polisi wanafikiria ni wanakuja kuwapiga na watoto wadogo wanapiga hawa mateke bia, bila hata kujali hata kijaribu kujitetea they don't how, they don't care and we have deaf adults in this country very many of them uh, when sometimes they go to hospital they do not know how to explain their sickness so by all means we need people who know sign language and that is where we start now from the hospitals wadau sasa wanaitaka serikali kujumuisha lugha ishara katika mtaala wa elimu ili kutumika na wanafunzi wote wa shule na vyuo ile kitu na nge propose kwa, kwa zile mashirika za kiserikali ambayo inatoa huduma kwa wananchi waweze kuachiri wale wale ambao tunaita sign language interpreters ili aweze kusaidika ya pili pia wanaweza achukua wale wafanyikazi ambao wako pale tayari wakawapeleka kwenye masomo waweze kusoma lugha ya ishara Tobias Shanji KT News County ya Mombasa Na washukuru sana Tobias Shanji kwa taarifa hiyo kuntu mtazamaji ni uh, hayo tu kwa sasa lakini usikose kuangalia nami mwenda wa saa moja kamili kwa taarifa zaidi alafu pia simuzana nami kwenye mtandao wa X Art Building waliaula kweli kwa sasa